we're under pressure, we have challenges, we have goals that we're trying to achieve, but that makes us no different from anyone else we're working with or working for. Hey, welcome back to another episode of More Than Marketing. I'm your host, Arsha Mirsha. I'm joined by none other than, none other than Amit, Amit Luhar. Amit Luhar. Yeah. yeah, you take it off. Yeah, yeah, sorry, to, to it. sorry to steal your thunder, man. Yeah, you know better than me. I'll Go just leave. It's okay. It. I don't need to be here. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> I need the host. I, I'm going to start dancing or what am I going to do? Amit, Amit, uh, a lot of respect for this guy. He's an account director here, um, but he started off in the trenches of digital marketing actually did our academy that's right that's where and got started that's where we got started and that's very uh applicable to this episode because we're going to be talking about t-shaping t-shaping yeah, the importance of t-shaping how to build a better agency with t-shaping and i would say like you know how to build a better agency how to build a better marketing team um or how to be a better marketer yourself exactly it's all about Becoming an expert in one particular area, really honing your craft there, but using that to develop an understanding of other disciplines, other channels, things that are going to help make you as productive as possible professionally and with the folks you're collaborating with every day. So, so let's do this. So what we're talking about here is a concept called the T-shaped marketer. Um, this concept very broadly is, you know, imagine a T there's you know a horizontal line at the top and then a, yep. a vertical line at the bottom uh and they connect whatever so the horizontal line at the top what is that representative of like to to you I mean, yeah so what that means to me is having as i mentioned before that a fundamental understanding of other practice areas related to your organization. So give me, give me a practice so areas. For, I, I like to say yeah. marketing channels. Yeah, so in marketing world, for me, that means, uh, you know, I came in and was a paid media expert. Mm -hmm. So Google ads, social ads, that was really my bread and butter. But I need to understand how that interplays with SEO, with conversion on a website, with, with development, tracking, um, analytics that goes back to, you know, closed loop, uh, down funnel, mm -hmm. um, bottom line business revenue types of results. So it. it's a combination of understanding paid media, but knowing how all of those other areas are coming back into play to make a business run every single day. No, I love it. I love it. And, that, and that's so. So Amit uh, comes in, does our academy. And during the academy, we touch on all these different what to us as an agency would be a service line, yeah. but in digital marketing, you call it a discipline or in marketing, you might call it a channel, right? So in our world, search engine optimization, email marketing, uh, paid media, marketing automation, um, conversion rate optimization. These are all different channels, disciplines, skills that we want our people to have, um, you know, some at least baseline understanding of what they are and, and what makes them tick. And then that's the that's the the top of the T, right? That's horizontal. Yeah. And then we want you to go deep in one or two, or if you're really badass, you go <laughs> you become a yeah, exactly a block <laughs> block shape yeah, marker. Block shape marker. <laughs> right. It's a good time to be a square. No, but <laughs> you know, good. kind of taking a step back and thinking about why this is important in yeah. the first place. Yeah. You know, the the tech sector in and of itself is growing at an unimaginable speed. Yeah. I was just taking a look the other day, it makes up approximately 5% of US GDP, the Whoa, tech sector, really? which doesn't seem like a lot, but when you factor in the fact that US GDP is in the trillions of dollars, yeah, 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 that's yeah. not chump change anymore no. that we're talking about. Wow. And all of those organizations, companies that are contributing to that, we certainly contributed to that, uh, sure. to that in, in many facets, but those are our clients at the end of the day. Yeah. They're trying to grow fast. We got to grow fast with mm -hmm. them. And the only way that we're going to be able to do that is by really developing, embracing, and building around T-shaped marketers. Yeah. So a lot of what I wanted to talk about today was not just the definition of it um, or how that relates to agile, which is something that is really becoming important big too, and right, sure. yeah, plenty of organizations, but why that's important for you and why that's important for me as leadership, as a team member in an agency, what do I get out of being a T-shaped marketer and why should I care about it? And likewise, what makes it so great for you to try and embrace that or build the organization around it? You, uh, you're doing the host job. You just ask the <laughs> questions. Now you can just answer them. Let, <laughs> let me, re, let me uh, just repeat what you said. Amit, what, 
I mean, why is it important to it's, you to be a T-shirt? I'm just trying to be a T-shape, man. I'm trying to uh, widen <laughs> that T, you, you know? Want cross the all the... Interviewee, be the host was, a little yeah. bit. I'm trying to... Go operate the, the camera, too, <laughs> why don't you? <laughs> yeah. Tell me, get out of yeah, here. Yeah, right? No, but that's good, man. That's good. This is fun, as I cool. knew it would be. Um, but yeah, so so let's do it, man. Why is it important? I mean, I can think of several things, but... I want to hear from you. Yeah, so I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that. I actually wanted to get your take or your perspective first and, and really break down why this seems like a good investment as leadership within an agency. And then from there, talk a little bit more about my own perspective and, and chime in with my own personal thoughts. Okay. All right. So, so, I'll, so you're asking me now, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, so here you go. So I... I think that the T-shape is important for many, 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 many reasons. One of the most important ones, though, is it really boils down to communication, yeah. okay? You need to, you know, you can't Superman or Superwoman and, 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 and get everything. Like, you can't be the best designer, the best developer, the best SEO, the best paid media. You know, you can't be the best email marketer. Like, if you are... Like, show me that and I'll show you an anomaly or I'll show you a figment of your imagination, right? Mm -hmm. So the point is, like, teamwork makes dream work. Yeah. So why I want to see and, and, and build T-shaped marketers is because I want people to be able to, like, understand what goes into a, a certain channel or understand how to communicate with an expert of a certain channel um, to, to get it done, to get the work done, to... Yeah to post the results, to get that traffic, get that conversion, get that lead, get that uh, sale. Mm -hmm. You know, so communication is number, probably the number one thing. And, you know, a lot goes into that, you know, that, 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 that teamwork. Do you see that from your yeah, position? Yeah, I see that a lot in, you know, connecting the dots there between the leadership side and more of that team or execution side of things. I really think it comes down to performing at a high level. Okay. Because yeah. we're working with organizations sure. that are growing, constantly pushing the envelope, yep. they expect the very same from us. I and agree. for people to be able to execute at a high level consistently across a variety of different clients and different verticals, trying to achieve different goals simultaneously, we're going to need those experts that you talked about. We can't spend time uh, becoming experts in all areas because it's impossible, but we can help create an environment that helps all of those experts learn from each other, collaborate and share their knowledge to, again, perform at a high level. But thinking about it from a personal standpoint, the reason I think it is important to try and cultivate that T is because we don't know what our career path is gonna look like at the end of the day. But you do know that you're gonna need a variety of different skills to make it regardless of the path that you take. So when I'm thinking about a T shape, in my mind, that means essentially building a resume that I can be proud of and know that regardless of what happens in this um, unknown future that's ahead of us, yeah. I'm going to have something that I can fall back on, rely on, or that's at least going to make me valuable to the team I'm on today and the team I'm on tomorrow, too. I see that you love that. Love many, that many, many hearts, man, because <laughs> it's, it's so funny what... What you just said about uh, the you know kind of building the resume and and, and feeling equipped yeah. that was going to be my next point right cool uh, you know we have um, in this ever changing world I don't care if you have 15 years experience or 15 seconds experience this industry digital marketing especially marketing advertising is changing faster than your underwear right so <laughs> so you gotta you gotta change with it. Yep. Change is only constant. And so right. having that uh, kind of breadth of, of understanding of, of the different channels or disciplines uh, gives you gives you that ability. But also, let's say you have 15 seconds of, of, of uh, experience or one year or two or five. You know, that doesn't mean that's what you're going to do for the rest of your life. So that's why if you if you get that, that's another thing we do in our academy. We love for uh, everyone to get exposure to all of the different disciplines such that yeah. they can say, you know what, I really love email. and I want to be the best darn email marketer that there is. So I'm yeah. going to go, you know, deep that vertical line in that particular, uh, you know, service or, or discipline. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so you nailed it. And then... Um, to your point about uh, performing at a high level, that's exactly right. I, I, I think my comment about communication, what I was really trying to say, I think you, 
you know, if we have really good communication across um, different teams that are experts, that are specialists in the different uh, disciplines, yeah. that's where you're going to get high performance, right? Yeah. As soon as you have one breakdown in communication, you know what happens. It all just tumbles from there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and you know, building off of that idea, um, you know, we embrace that here at Web Mechanics. I love that, and I'm kind of connecting back to what you said about change being the only constant. Mm -hmm. This isn't the first time I heard you say that. <laughs> you know, that's one of the one of the many Arsham lines that I remember. Whether you know, I'm here in the office, out at a client site, whatever it may be. Change is the only constant, and that Arsham saying that phrase is a constant, too. <laughs> it's the second constant, right? <laughs> the second constant. Two laws of web mechanics. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm but... i cut you off. Man. Yeah, but, no, you're good. And, you know, with, with that in mind, knowing that change is the only constant, that doesn't mean that the economy around us is the thing that's changing, and web mechanics just kind of has to move move with it. Right. Um, the What that means to me is that Everything that's happening within these walls mm -hmm. is also subject to evolve, grow, change, adapt in order to meet our own business goals as well as our clients' goals. Absolutely. And why I thought this topic was so important was because it was it's really what shaped my career path to where I am today. Like we talked about, I was a, a paid media guy, really behind the scenes, mm -hmm. really clicking numbers, changing, um, uh, changing bids, yeah, looking yeah, at yeah. budgets, monitoring lead tracking. And now I find myself more on the client facing side. And the only way that I was able to successfully transition from someone who is behind the scenes working more with strategy and numbers to someone who is now, um, I guess, translating those types of requests from a client into tangible results with mm -hmm. the team mm -hmm. was by getting that experience firsthand and what that takes. Uh, so again, um, you know, really big concept here yeah. that I want us to dive into a little bit more. Um, so to that end, I kind of wanted your uh, your take on some of the things that we do here that you think are important to kind of cultivate that type oh, of environment. Yeah, I mean, you know what we do. But th that's, yeah, so I love what you said. That's your, I think what makes you a great account director or, 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 or client facing, in that client facing role is the fact that you were a practitioner. Yeah. You know, you're not just a, um, I don't know, like slick talker or just like someone who's really good with, with people but doesn't understand what take what it takes to the, do uh, the actual work. The I'll get back to you guy. Yeah, yeah. you're not the I'll get back to you guy. You're yeah. the, oh, I actually know, I know the answer to that question. And in fact, let me give you some strategic answers as it pertains to your business, your industry, because I've done this before and I know what it takes to do this. Yeah. You know, or they're like, hey, how long is that going to take? Like, you can give a knowledgeable answer to that because yeah. you've done it. You, you know, know what's involved. And I think that's, so for me as a as an agency owner, like that's very important because <laughs> we want to we want to deliver that legendary service. How else are we going to do that then if, if we're always saying, I'll get back to you, I don't know, or I'm just the account manager shielding you from our, uh, <laughs> shielding you, our client, away from our production staff. Like that's, you know? Yeah. So, so that's, you know, that's why it's important to us as an agency. But it's also, I think, important, again, if you're in-house or if you want to manage, say you want to be a manager. You say right. you're a CMO or a VP and you're managing a team of marketers. You got to understand you know, the different disciplines and how they, you have to be curious. We had Jeff Goldscher uh, right. on this yeah. podcast and he yeah. said one of the, he said one of the uh, skills, one of the five skills in his mind that a CMO needs to have is, is curiosity. That's right. All right. So, you know, you gotta be curious about the different channels. What can work for my business? What should I completely ignore? Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't need Snapchat advertising <laughs> for this, you know, B2B uh, company that I'm at the helm of marketing for. All right. So you want the specs. <laughs> okay, the specs are cool, but <laughs> but right. So, um, but yeah, let's talk about how. Let's talk about how. So, uh, curiosity is is a is a trait that you need to have. Uh, you know, always be learning, and then uh, I think where the rubber meets the road there is training. Yeah. Right. It's training, and it's um, it's seeking out training for different disciplines, right? That's right. Um, you know, us, you know what we do, we do the academy, we also do uh, regular scheduled trainings, and we, yeah. well, we say that, 
you know, if there's a training on, let's say, account management, then the account managers are required, but everyone else is optional. Mm -hmm. And they're encouraged, hey, yeah, you know, like if you have the time, you should come because you should understand what your fellow account managers are doing. Yeah, exactly. You know, because maybe you want to be one one day. That's right. right? So yeah. seeking out that training, there's a ton of it online. We have a ton of it online. Um, and just happy to see the, the web be a better place. So if that means giving the training out, then that's what it means. Yeah, I think you hit on a lot of those big things. You know, I have three three ideas in mind. Give it about, to me. Yeah, what I can do as a team member to really push this forward and make sure that I'm holding myself accountable for that T-shaped growth. Okay. Um, so certainly the the environment that I'm working in, um, putting the support uh, levers in place or the training outlets in place, those are things that I do uh, rely on, mm -hmm. like leadership or the agency uh, team to be providing, sure. but I got to come to the table with a couple things myself. Um, the first of those things is certainly embracing challenges. Yes. The only way that we're going to learn or try something new is by getting our hands dirty, rolling up our sleeves and kind of figuring out on our own. We luckily have resources here, experts here that we can rely on to get information, help us understand a concept we don't understand, but the onus is really on the individual to ask those questions, find that problem that doesn't have a solution yet, and then work towards it. So that's the first thing I think is important. I'll agree. That second thing is that entrepreneurial mindset. Mm -hmm. This is something that, you know, similar to change is the only constant, mm -hmm. something that I really uh, learn and appreciate about, um, you know, working so closely with you yeah. is that you've taught us that the goal of an agency is to provide tangible business value. That's right. The only way that we're going to understand tangible business value is thinking like a business owner. That's right. And if we can do that successfully, we can apply any type of marketing strategy, any type of best practices, any types of solutions to a problem that's thrown our way because we're thinking of all of the millions of possibilities and all the potential that's available yeah. rather than what I'm limited to with my specific, uh, specific my skill box. set. And I'll, and, I'll, and I'll expand on that real quick before you get to your number three. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe the best recommendation for your uh, client is not which of our services you should use. Maybe it's, hey, have you thought about building a partner channel, for example? Exactly. Have you thought about getting distribution, you know, through a different channel that's not, uh, you know, marketing or advertising related? And, and you're only going to have that uh, thought if you're thinking like a business owner or like how can if this was my business what would i do type thing so i'm glad that you recognize that and embrace that as a mentality uh, i think it served you very well and i hope that it you know if this is new to any of the listeners that that, that would be something that sort you know you embrace as well so yeah and you, last but not least number, number three. three the most human piece of it all is having empathy mm -hmm. The way that I see Good. into being a successful T-shaped marketer is understanding we're under pressure, we have challenges, we have goals that we're trying to achieve, but that makes us no different from anyone else we're working with or working for. Right. Uh, particularly with those cross-functional teams that make T-shaping so important and so successful, we have to understand the pressures of all the other experts in the room with us. Yeah. If we don't know what they're going through, if we can't sympathize or empathize with the challenges that they're trying to work through as well and have an understanding for that as we're trying to accomplish a common goal, no one's going to get anything done. That's right. We're all going to silo ourselves off, and then that leads to communication's going to break down, break down because we don't have that empathy for one another. Exactly. Now we now you know instead of moving forward, we're moving sideways or even backwards. Yeah. yeah. No, I completely agree. It's a lot of competition that can be avoided by you know, opening up those walls, making sure that communication's open. Yeah. Everyone feels like they can be approached and approach others, and and feel like they won't get a piece bitten out of them. <laughs> well, exactly, yeah. Barking, coming in barking hot and just yeah. chomping. No, I, I, very, very good last point, the empathy one, because uh, because you need you also do need specialists. So exactly. while we're sitting here talking about T-shaping, I want to be very clear. T-shaping is understanding uh, the, the different disciplines, then going deep in one or two, um, maybe even three. But when you're dealing with someone who is a specialist, Let's say they don't have that broad T um, and, and they're a specialist. You still need them on your team. So you got to come at them with that empathetic and you have to ask 
like open-ended questions i think you know yeah as opposed to hey i need this done i don't care what you're you know what i mean like yeah. it, it seems really easy just copy and paste the last landing page you know it's like <laughs> no like hold on like this takes time you don't know what they're dealing with so exactly so yeah and i think also like you know we talk about t-shirting i want to make sure we're not it's this is not confused with like hey you now have to know everything about everything that's not what we're important. talking about yeah. right um it is very important to have specialized knowledge uh in in a space or two because if, if you don't then you're just you know i don't know it's then your 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 strategies and your tactics are going to be like death by a thousand cuts you know that's right you got to have specialists that that come together to that team that comes together that puts together that that winning campaign or that strategy that that just blows the competition out of the water you know mm -hmm. it's that it's that home run not just like singles and doubles, which are, are great, don't get me wrong, yeah, but absolutely. but that's where that bringing the teams together, high high performing teams, right? That's right. This is an awesome topic. We can go on forever, but uh, I think we're gonna leave it here. So any closing thoughts? T-shaped marketing, important? Yeah, absolutely important. Don't stop developing that T. Make sure you have an environment that cultivates it. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, help create it. Yeah, help create it. Very, you just, Stealing all my words. I know, man. Help create it. I think you know. Look, if you're a if you're a marketer inside an organization, you have a boss. Um, uh, to what Amit said, you know, onus is on you, right? So go out there, find a training that you want to take, uh, and you know, bring it to your boss and say, hey, would you reimburse me for this? At the very least, what's what's going to happen? They're going to say no, but they're going to see that you are uh, you have that drive, you have that ambition. I think that's great in and of itself right at the best they're like hey yeah i'll reimburse you for that and go to this conference and take this other training <laughs> and now you're just getting invested into right so yeah. and if you're a manager hey this will call out to you to to up your training and create that environment uh, to perform highly at the end of the day that's right cool put it here my man appreciate your time amit uh thank you all for listening comment like share subscribe, do all the things, and we'll see you on uh, another episode in the future.